Thanks. Happening now, a fire that was raging at this hour yesterday still burns in northern Colorado. More than 12 agencies responded, and that plume of black smoke could be seen all the way from Denver. That fire is at a recycling, tire recycling facility in Platteville, known by the locals as Tire Mountain. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas live near the scene. Dylan, the firefighters tapped into lessons learned decades ago to knock this one down in pretty short order. Jim, as you can see right behind me, that thick black plume of smoke that was taking place just right behind me yesterday is now gone. 24 hours after that fire started, the fire now 85% extinguished. That may not have been possible if it weren't for the lessons learned 33 years ago by firefighters who back then had no clue how to put out such a large fire. As soon as we saw the black plume of smoke, we knew that it was probably that facility. It's the same scenario two different fire chiefs have now encountered just three decades apart. When Gary Homiak looked across the plains of rural northern Colorado Wednesday. It was the same black smoke that we'd seen 33 years ago. In 1987. I was a fire chief at that time. So that was our first experience with Tire Mountain. Homiak and his team faced millions of burning tires with no textbook instructions on how to knock that blaze down. We tried foams, we tried airdrops. But none of that worked. After nearly a week, the answer was found right under their nose. Luckily, we're in a rural area to where the dirt is readily available. Thanks to Homiak's experience, the blaze Wednesday was contained within just hours. First thing we did was build a berm around the, the fire to keep it from spreading or getting to any exposures. Um, and then we slowly attacked the fire and started putting um, dirt on it to uh, extinguish it and it proved very successful. Homiak is now the fire department's board president. District Chief Dan Durkee said the knowledge he passed down from decades ago helped firefighters today knock down the second fire on Tire Mountain. It was a great job. Well done. Now, there are 64 mounds of used tires on this property right behind me. Those are known as cells. This fire was able to engulf seven of those cells, but at this hour, six of them have now been extinguished. The only one remaining, this one right behind me, and the crews hope to have that one knocked down in the coming hours. Reporting live, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Impressive work. Thank you, Dylan.